Hi so, again. Hi again. <laughs> Philly, you're with Microsoft Research, working with Microbit, and you've done some fantastic builds for BET this year. So what do we have? So what do we have? This is a very popular one. Uh, we call it a light monster. Yeah. Um, and as you they can see... They look a bit scary. They're scary. Yeah. Uh, and, and there's a microbit and there's a servo motor. Yeah, there is a microbit that uh, we use the lights, uh, the light sensor, we use the screen to sense the light. It's a very cool trick that the hardware guys did. Yeah. Uh, so now we know the, when, the, when the beam of the NeoPixel passes through, which is controlled by another microbit, uh, then we send a command to a small servo, this SG90, the cheap yeah. one, uh, to open and close the mouth. Ah, so the light, so if I would put my finger on that one. Yeah, it's not going to open. See, it, then it's, yeah. if I cover these two, yeah. although then it goes through my finger, <laughs> and it reflects from here. <laughs> now, the way we build the robot, uh, I took a lot of the coffee cup holders from Microsoft. Uh -huh. uh, three coffee cup holders uh, and two wooden sticks, and you get a robot. Oh, and a lot yeah, of glue. now I see. Right. So you basically just revamp yeah, we, the uh, Yeah, we holders. fold it, we open it, you know, yeah. it becomes the base, the base. <laughs> right? And then you start gluing. So this is all glue gun, it's all handmade. The, the servo is connected with a paper clip, yeah. right? Uh, that's all you need then uh, to build your robot. Right. That's fantastic because it becomes really accessible to do the moving yeah. robot parts. And, and it's, it's very servo. merciful to being sloppy about the, the angles and the distance. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're, they're all kind of different. Yeah. You know? uh, and then the customization part is, is key. Yeah. Uh, every robot will look like the, the student wants to do it. Right? Uh, <laughs> and they're very the personal. Yeah. 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 And you have a whole, a whole bunch of them. Now I saw that one moved when you... That yeah, one's so connected to the... We've mounted the microbit here yeah. and is using the accelerometer. Yeah. So I'm measuring how much over X I have. And then I send a command. I send an angle to the servo that's inside of the head of that one. So I'm using the radio feature from the microbit yeah. uh, to build kind of a like remote. And then he has his hair, so he's like <laughs> a rock star, you know. You do that. Uh, I saw that you used this thing yeah, for so something that, else. That's a fun one. Let me, uh, let me clear out the, the racetrack. This is... Uh, you've played those games where you, you have the car yeah, yeah, turn. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Well, that's the NeoPixel version of it. That's the, okay, uh, the so front. you have a NeoPixel that runs yeah. like a racetrack. That's my car for the, the four LEDs. So right. the four LEDs that light up, they're yeah. the car, and that's the ones that right. I control. So I've opened this, I've removed the electronics. Yeah. There is a variable resistor in it. Yeah. So I've rewired that. Yeah. It arrives here. Yeah. We and have the power, the right? The two pins for the power. Yeah. We have the, uh, the, the pin that's controlled to this. Yeah. And the pin that's controlled to the triggers here. Yeah. Two triggers, right? And then now we have a pin going out. Yeah. And going into a 150 NeoPixel strip, right? Everything that's the programmed with the microbit. Everything programmed with the microbit in PXT. That's awesome. So the way it works, and it doesn't work <laughs> uh, for some reason. Let's see. Uh, we connected. Let me uh, let me reboot. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Uh, I need to put the put sound. Put the audio in. Yeah. So so you have connected a bunch of audio to it as well. Right. So I ran out of pins. So what I did is I I programmed the microbit to receive commands to play sounds. So uh, the sound is connected, so you could see the visualization and the sound at the same sound time. Sound is key for a game. Yeah. So this one is sending sound commands to this one yeah. via radio. Okay. Uh, in fact, it's shared by multiple makes we have <laughs> here. This is a juggler um, when it stops. OK, so uh, you trigger, you yeah. launch the, the countdown. In the straights, in the straights, I can accelerate. And use the turbo. But when you hear the blue light, um, that means you're slower. So I'm not turning. So, uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. so now in the overpass, I cannot turbo. Yeah. Now, let's try. You're a really good driver. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Fantastic. So Neo Pixels. Neo Pixels. There's radio. There's the audio going into it. How many microbits are there to the racetrack in total? Uh, only two. This one only does two. all the lights. Yeah. And this one does the, the sound. sound. You could actually probably build it with uh, one, one single and a breakout board. Uh, a breakout yeah, board yeah. because I ran out of pins. Yeah, that's the uh, only reason. Yeah, basically. that's your reason. 
uh, and also uh, a refurbished um, a controller here yeah. that you know was rotting in Goodwill and <laughs> uh, that I you know opened and that's actually a great piece part of the make yeah opening that thing ripping exploring the, how can and I then you realize it? that there is this boring variable resistor which is a very boring component but in wow case, it's amazing in there yeah, yeah. because it actually yeah. enables for the yeah. movement part. it's a great way to, to teach yeah. about variable resistors because yeah. that's that's why they're useful yeah <laughs> exactly yeah. thank you for that walkthrough Perfect.